Good morning. Happy New Year's. Welcome to the Circle of Love with Shakisha Etnis. I am tuning in to actually piggyback off of a message that I recorded last, which is titled, um, don't, don't Let Anyone Prostitute Your Gift. I wanted to elaborate a little more because I had some that inbox me with um they was like you know i'm feeling you like oh my god can you explain a little more and i said you know and then i had some that didn't agree and then i had some that agreed to disagree you know they was they was kind of i got you but i want you to understand this side so i wanted to take the time to elaborate on that particular topic in the in where and, and from the place of which I was coming from. My thing is again for some to to be prostituted is for someone to use your gift for their benefit. And um in this season as I said do not allow anyone to use prostitute your gift. Now let me just give you two really good examples. I was thinking, I was pondering on this topic and because I never want to leave anyone confused about what I'm saying in my perspective of whatever topic I'm speaking on. So I thought about uh, two things that I wanted to share. I have a friend that's a pastor. And she was sharing with me how in her past, when she was sitting under her leadership, not under, not having her own church, um, basically they would never allow her to minister. But then they started sending her to engagements that they did not particularly want to, they didn't particularly want to do. And she wasn't aware of that, but they were still, you know, getting whatever, you know, monies or whatever that they were getting from her, you know, for her going. Okay. But then it got to the point where the people liked her. They really enjoyed her ministering to them. So they began to personally request her. Then he pulled her off the assignment. And to me, that was prostituting her gift. It was as long as it was as long as it was beneficial to him, he was fine. But the moment that they started wanting her personally to come, he 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 wouldn't agree with that. Okay, so that's again my my way of explaining you know how people can pros prostitute your god-given gift from god now it was brought to my attention you know you shouldn't worry about or be concerned about um you know when god send you out to go somewhere to do something you know it doesn't matter what someone else is trying to do or, you know, whatever, whatever. So I was thinking about that. So this is another uh, situation that, that I had, particularly myself. Um, I can remember riding down the street and I was going to see my grandson. And I was not, a, I wasn't dressed for no particular occasion because I had on a t-shirt and some blue jeans and I'm riding down Austell Road. And I look to the left of me and I see this storefront church, but the church magnified. It got really, really big. And the Lord spoke to me and said, go in the church. Excuse me. And I said, I'm not going in that church. I don't know what those people are doing. Mind you, it's nighttime. It was, and, and I can remember the, the guy that I was on the phone with. He said, who are you talking to? I said, the Lord just told me to go in this church. He said, well, if the Lord told you to go in that church, you better go in that church. And he's laughing because he's like, every time I turn, he said, you always talking about the Lord told you 
you God speak to you more than anybody I know. I say, well, I'm just telling you what he said. So I made the U-turn and I went to the church and I realized I was sitting in front of a Haitian church. And I'm like, now, Lord, I know you're not sending me in a Haitian church. He said, no, go around. So I went around on the other side. And this is really funny, but I went around the other side and I realized I was, it was two churches, you know, kind of like side by side. But the church that I seen, that's when I went around, I seen the same church. So I went into the church as God instructed me to, because God's word says obedience is better than sacrifice. And I was obedient. I went in the church and when I went in, it was a whole bunch of women dressed up in pajamas. They was in their pajamas. And the lady greeted me at the door and she said, are you registered? And I said, no, ma'am. I said, I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't know how you're going to accept this, but the Lord told me to come in here. She said, well, if God told you to come in here, come on. So I came in and I sat down. Now, this was a, 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 a place I've never been to this church. And again, it was women dressed up in pajamas. And this was an event that they paid like $65 to come to. But I'm here for free. Okay. Now, this is when I'm speaking of you're on an, an assignment for God. And it doesn't matter what somebody says, you go. So I'm sitting there and the woman of God is ministering. And after she ministers, then another woman get up and she began to talk about the group. And the group was called Wailing Wives. And I can remember saying, hold on, God, everybody in here is a wife. But see, little, you know, God was dealing with me. He was like, and you're a wife because see, you have to be a wife before you even notice by your Boaz. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your husband. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, I am in a room full of wives that have their husband. And you have me in here and I'm not understanding why am I here? Well, to make this long story as short as I can, after the woman introduced the, 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 the a group, I said, ma'am, I hate to be, you know, I don't want to be out of order, but it's something that I need to say to the pastor. And the pastor was speaking on women, wives, leaving their husbands because they cheated or, you know, a woman after that husband. And basically that she just give up and just give, just give a husband to her. And I got up and I testified and I said, you know, I am a woman that was the other woman. I've, I've dealt with a married man. And, you know, I just began to allow God to use me. Now I'm leaving after I said everything that the Lord said me, told me to say, I'm leaving. And I hear the woman that's over the group saying, uh, look, at, look at God. He'll bring them off the streets into the church. And I was offended. And I said, God, I'm finna go back in here and say something. He said, no, you're not because you did what I told you to do. The word that you spoke over their lives, the ones that needed it, got it. If it wasn't for her, she didn't get it. So with that being said, I left. When I came out, God told me to go back to this church again. When I came back to that church, I had three women to walk up to me and say, Oh my God, I remember you. You're the woman that testified. And I want you to know your testimony saved my marriage. And I'm so grateful to you being bold enough to come in that church and say the things that you said. So I'm saying that to say, I didn't care about what nobody would say. I didn't care about... All I was doing was thus said the Lord, you know, to me. And that's what I did. So, so if, if somebody got something out of that, it was supposed to be done because God sent me on an, an assignment. But when people are prostituting your gift, in some cases, even you 
you can be so anxious as I was when I knew I was called to ministry. I was just trying to connect with the right people, the right church, you know, just, I just wanted to use my gift, but God would not allow the doors to be open. And again, he specifically spoke to me and said, because I will not allow anyone to get the glory. That's mine. That's his is what I'm saying. So I hope that I've cleared this up and may uh, give you more clarity to what I am saying. You have to be careful about allowing someone to prostitute your gift. And again, this is from Shakisha Etna's heart, the circle of love to your heart. I hope you receive this. I hope that God continue to nurture us, to develop and mature us each and every day. God bless you and happy, happy new year and happy new you. Amen and God bless.